Christina Bellantoni is a senior reporter for Talking Points Memo. It's good to see you. Set the stage here for why it's so important for the president to, to be out there in public talking about what a great job the stimulus has done at saving the economy. Well, the economy is the number one issue for voters, and the midterm elections are coming up real fast here for the fall for all of Congress, uh, for uh, all of the House of Representatives and a third of the Senate. And so you've got people needing to be able to campaign on the good things out of the stimulus. Right now, Americans, you know, are concerned about spending. They're concerned about job losses. And so this is an area where the president really wants to showcase the work that's been done. All right. When we're looking at the Republicans' reaction, Republicans fight back all the time about the number of jobs created and how you come about this number. The president today said two million uh, saved. For John Boehner's reaction, self-congratulatory stimulus spin from this administration is hopelessly out of touch with reality and has about as much credibility as prior claims that unemployment wouldn't exceed 8% or that jobs would be created immediately. Is he tapping into some American sentiment widespread across this nation that you can talk all you want, but when your neighbors and family are out of work, so what? Well, I think that's what, what Minority Leader Boehner would say he's trying to tap into. I mean, part of this is that you do have jobs that were saved, you know, teachers that are that are back and working here. The vice president and president talk about this all of the time. But the main issue is that people are still hurting. And so I think that's why you heard President Obama talk about the tax cuts that were in the stimulus plan. But you're also hearing Democrats uh, pinpoint Republican hypocrisy on this issue because a lot of all of the House Republicans voted against the stimulus plan, yet sometimes they're going home in their districts and campaigning painting on some of the money that it's brought home. Well, and in fact, the president made that point, too. I want to play what he said about that. There are those, let's face it, across the aisle who have tried to score political points by attacking what we did, even as many of them show up at ribbon-cutting ceremonies for projects in their districts. Let's face it, uh, the Republicans may want some of those projects to show up and, and to cut ribbons, but the Democrats and, and certainly the president need those projects. So far, only about a third of the stimulus um, is, uh, so far about a third is still unspent here. You're looking at um, $862 billion stimulus a year later. There's $333 billion committed, um, so already $272 billion spent, and you're looking here, $257 billion left to go to some other projects. Are are there places where lawmakers feel they'll get more political bang for that buck? <laughs> yeah, I mean, certainly. And, and that's one reason why you're trying to hear policy being merged a little bit with these announcements. You know, you've got a lot of clean energy jobs that are being created with stimulus funds. You know, everybody's for the education uh, education of this country being improved. So, of course, they talk a lot about teachers, firefighters, people talk about public safety. So they're trying to merge those priorities. But it's really about making sure that they spend the money as quickly as possible and showing the results. Because, like we've talked about, not all Americans are aware of where the stimulus has helped. All right, Christina, good to talk to you. Thank you. Thanks, Contessa. Coming up at the half hour. We'll